Noah here from American Muscle. One of the best ways to really transform your Mustang's presence is upgrading the exterior lighting, and very specifically, we're talking about headlights. On the road today, you're gonna to be seeing tons of tinted headlights, projectors, maybe ones with black housings, and all sorts of different daytime running light designs. If you're looking to get a set of headlights that check all those boxes, then these Nova Series LED projector headlights with black housings and clear lenses for the 15 to 17 Mustang and 18 and newer GT350 and 500 will be exactly what you're looking for. We're looking at that super popular dark design that you're seeing everywhere on cars today. That comes from the color of the housing in this case, not the lens. We are looking at a slightly lighter option with just a black housing rather than Alpha Rex's darkest alpha black housing. And that comes with a clear lens that allows that light to come through easily, unlike some of the darker tinted lenses or just a tinted cover that you could buy and put over these stock headlights. Now, these headlights also feature three signature ice cube projector lenses on each side, and the bulbs behind those guys are LED, so you know these are gonna be focused and super bright. Then the turn signals are amber, and the daytime running lights are white and have that awesome angry eyebrow look. On to construction, we are looking at a Nova series light, so you know it's gonna to be top notch. We do have industrial grade polypropylene housings that are weather sealed and they provide a nice backing to everything that's gonna be super sturdy and resilient to engine bay heat. Then around the front of the headlight, we do have impact resistant polycarbonate lenses. And then lastly, those projectors have Osram LEDs in them. These guys are designed to be plug and play and they're gonna drop right in where those factory lights came out. Coming in right around $1,300, these guys are going to be right around the top of the price range in terms of headlights out there for your Mustang. I will say though, with the higher price tag, you really are getting a lot of headlight. Anything Nova Series or really anything made by Alpharex is going to be fantastic in terms of quality. So if you're in the market for a top of the line headlight and you have a larger budget, these are gonna be a great choice for you to consider. Installing these headlights is going to be simple for just about anybody to do at home. We're only looking at an install difficulty of one out of three wrenches because these guys are plug and play, like I said before. Since it's such a simple install, you should really be able to get the whole thing done in about two hours, so right on par with most other headlight installs. Speaking of install, let's head over to the install bay and look at the process step by step. For this install, you will need an impact, 3 8 the quarter inch adapter if necessary, seven, eight, 10, and 13 millimeter sockets, clip removal tool, and in our case, a Phillips head screwdriver. Also not shown here is a jack and jack stand so you can reach the underside of the vehicle. What's up guys, today we're gonna to be installing some headlights on our Mustang, but before we do that, we're gonna send you to watch a short video on how to uninstall your factory lights, and we'll see you when you get back. So for this install, we're gonna to have to get the car up in the air a little bit, and we're gonna to have to remove the front bumper. It's a pretty simple process, I'm gonna walk you through it. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by using my clip tool to remove the clips that hold the upper rad cover on. And I'll just pull these out and pull the rad cover off. So with my rad cover out of the way, I can take my eight mil socket and remove the six eight mil screws along the top of the bumper, but don't forget the seven mil screws hiding underneath the weather strip here. And I'm just gonna use a seven mil socket to get those out. Now I need to pull back my inner fender liner here up against the front bumper. There are four clips here on the inside of the wheel well. One of ours is missing, but just imagine that it's there. And there's two at the bottom that I'll have to remove. And then I can pull my wheel well liner back far enough to gain access to the bolt that is behind the liner on the corner of the front bumper. I'm just gonna use my clip tool once again to pull the clips out and then I can pull the liner back.
So back here at the corner of this bumper, there is a plastic bracket that mounts the fender to the bumper. And there's a seven millimeter screw that, it, that goes through the two and attaches the bumper into the fender. And what you're gonna have to do is take a seven millimeter socket on your ratchet to remove it. Now our bumper has been off so many times that that hardware is missing, but all you need is a seven millimeter socket and ratchet and it'll come right out. Now I'm just gonna repeat this exact same process on the other side of the vehicle. And once again, remove the seven millimeter screw here at the corner of the bumper. Now you can pull your fender liner back once again and remove the seven millimeter screw right here. With our fender liners pulled back and the corner of our bumper unbolted, now we can unhook our fog lights and turn signals as these are going to be coming off with the bumper when we remove it from the car. So I'm just gonna unplug my connectors and pull them off the back of the lights. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So next, I'm gonna use a combination of a clip removal tool and a seven millimeter socket on my impact to remove the four screws and two clips on the bottom of the belly pan, but I'm gonna leave it attached to the front bumper so everything comes off in one piece. All right, let's go with the screws first. So now you're gonna to wanna to very carefully pop the corners of the front bumper out. Make sure not to damage these tabs as you will need them to reinstall the bumper. And with both of the corners popped off now, we can remove the front bumper. So now that I have my bumper pulled off, I have access to all the hardware for the headlight. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket for the top and bottom 10 millimeter screws and a 13 millimeter socket for the outer screw. So now I can remove my headlight and unplug the connector. So these headlights do come with the ability to function in either white or amber DRLs. And in order to access that function to switch the two, you're going to need to remove your HID ballast box from your headlight. So we'll grab our Phillips head screwdriver and go ahead and take out the four screws holding this in. Once we have our screws out, we'll go ahead and pop our ballast box out. And these, you will find this little connector here on two white wires. Now, if these are unplugged, this is gonna be white DRLs. But if we plug this in here, that will activate your amber DRL function. So if we have that plugged in, we'll go ahead and screw our ballast box back on. And once you have this done, if that's your choice if you want to do the white or the ambers, we just set up for ambers. Then you can go ahead and do this for your other headlight and we can move on to the vehicle. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Now that we've shown you how to remove your factory setup, we can go ahead and start installing our new lights. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and grab our headlight here, grab our factory connector, and we'll plug this right back in as it was from your factory lights. Then we're gonna go ahead and set it in place with its locators. 
and we'll get our hardware in and tighten it down. So now we'll get our two 10 millimeter screws put back in for our top and bottom mounts here. Just give them a few turns. Then we'll get our 13 millimeter bolt into the side here, then we'll tighten everything down. Now we got that started. Grab our 13 mil socket on our impact, tighten this down. And we'll switch out to our 10 mil socket and tighten down our two front ones. So now once you've got this light back on, you can go ahead and do the same thing for your other headlight. And we'll go ahead and start throwing our bumper back on. All right, so now that we've got our headlights in place, we can go ahead and begin throwing our bumper on. So we're gonna start at our front top section here and we have these locator dowels. We're gonna get the front top of our bumper in place on the dowels and that'll hold everything in place as we get the rest of it on and secured. Let's go ahead and grab our bumper here. Dowels lined up. Okay, now that those are on, we'll start getting everything else in order. So now we can go ahead and grab the edge of our bumper here that's going to line up with our fender. Now remember, yours from the factory will have the screw going through it to attach the bumper to the fender. Again, ours is no longer with us. But we'll go ahead and get this back in its slots. Make sure that's nice and flush. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. So now that we're ready to plug our lights and our bumper back in, we can go ahead and install our adapter harness for our headlights. These headlights do have a function to where they can communicate with our factory turn signals to allow action on the headlight during a turn signal. So we'll go ahead and grab our factory plug here. We'll plug our male side of our connector into our factory plug and then this part into our turn signal itself. Then we'll plug our other lights in, and then we'll get our wire connected to our headlight. Get our marker light plugged in, as well as our fog lights. And then we can plug in our adapter plug to our headlight. So now we can go ahead and grab our adapter plug and come to the back of our headlight here and you'll see another yellow wire with a plug coming out of the bottom back portion of your headlight. So we'll go ahead and get that plugged in, make sure it's nice and secure. Then we can go ahead and repeat the same process for the other headlight. So now that we have everything connected, we can go ahead and reinstall our fender liner so we'll go ahead and get that in place. It's tucked in where it's supposed to be. Then we can reinstall our push pins. And yours from the factory should have one on the bottom as well. And ours is no longer with us, but that should be there for yours. And now you can go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. So now we can go ahead and reinstall our two push pins and our seven millimeter screws on our splash guard here. So we go ahead and pop our pins in. Then we'll grab our seven millimeter socket on our impact. Go ahead and start running our screws back in. Got our two forward ones here. And then our ones for our rear section. Now 
And once we have that done, we can go back up top, button everything up, and be all done. So now we'll go ahead and get all of our 8 millimeter screws run back in the top part of our bumper here. We'll grab our 8 mil socket, go ahead and run these back in. Now remember, you are drilling into plastic with these screws, so there's no need to go super crazy on torque. Just nice and snug will do. Next we'll pull our weather stripping back here on the edge and reinstall what should be a factory 7mm bolt. Ours are Phillips head as replacements. But there should be sevens from factory. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other one. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our upper radiator cover. Get this in place. Make sure it seats properly. And we'll reinstall all of our push pins. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up our review and install of our Nova Series LED projector headlights with black housings and clear lenses for your 15 to 17 Mustang, 18 to 22 Mustang GT350 and GT500. Thanks for watching and as always, for everything Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.